What's up, guys? Ultra Eric, A Private to J Productions, and A Private to J Productions 2. It's time for another episode of Elevator Video Review, episode 12, where the mayonnaise is getting up to 12 pounds and it stinks. Stinks to a tuna fish. <laughs> Ugh. So, anyway, we have two reviews for the former Sears and Roebuck store, Huntington Square Shopping Center. East Northport, New York. It just closed like last year. The Sears holding, um, excuse me, the Sears holding just closed the Northport area. It's more identical to the ones in Hicksville, the Sears in Hicksville. They just closed that in the Hicksville area. It's one of my favorite stores because I film these elevators all the time. The Curtis and the Sugar MT. But the S Curtis, I didn't film it. I didn't do my cabinet though, but sorry about that, folks. But I did got a good machine room take though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. So this video review, we're going to be reviewing two elevators. One is the Westie, two is the Schindler. But there have been s several rumors in the elevator community were asking this question. Is two of these, are the two of the elevators are going to survive or they're going to be modernized? Not sure. So we're going to find out. First, the junkie Westinghouse. This is where I Hate Escalator started, um... This is where I Hate Escalator started his, uh, his first camera. He has a brand new camera for the first video. So within that mind, let's do this. Well, He's got a new camera. Yep, the TX100. Yeah. Hey, tell, tell him what that looks like. Tell them what it looks like. Question for the audience. Privacy J, tell them what it looks like. Uh, what is it? Is it? What is that airlock? Airlock looks like. It's it's a T interlock. It's a T Westinghouse interlock. Oh my God! It, it looks dirty. Yeah, and rusty and dirty. That interlock needs to clean. Anyway, on with the video. Look. Sorry for that beeping, guys. Here we go. That's the official MEI indicator. Uh, indicator, I'm sorry. That's how I roll, baby. Ain't just the fish eye, everybody. That's the fish eye, folks. Anyway, tell them what that looks like it's up there. Interlock. Yes, but what does it look like? It's like a T. It's like yes, but what? Now, what does this look like to you? Looks like an always airlock, is it? Uh, yeah, it is. Probably looks like an Oyster. Don't, don't be explaining people that's a doper in a lot. So don't listen to, to Bill Bull. What does it look like? It's like a teeth. Also, excuse the fish eye. He says it looks like a retarded Oyster in a lock. No, it, the, the, the system he uses to open looks like one. Turn down the speakers. Now we don't have the door. So therefore, he thinks this elevator has an Oyster in a lock. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, we are I realize they I don't, don't have bumpers in this, but it has crappy old sensors. Okay, we're gonna let it close. Let's let it close. Wait, let me hear that again. Let's let it close. They have a machine room after this. It's upstairs. Oh, yeah. It's at the second <laughs> level. The machine room is upstairs. I don't know if the room it's in is locked. It's in a room. It's in a room. It's I'll check. I'll check that later. See, there's the machine room. It has a nice motor. Yeah. It's, oh, it, it is open. See, this is where it used to be the tools yeah. department, but then they took it out. They took it out the tools, the tools department after the liquidation sale. That's the door? No, that's the door that goes to the, that guides you to the machine room. But although you can't put storage, and they may allow people to open it and hear the motor to all elevator enthusiasts, but not anybody. Oh, it's only for uh, employees. How safe? How safe it is? Because basically, whatever it does. Yeah, it's open a little. There we go. That motor is awesome. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, it, it could, it, that's always sounds like a Westie, when the motor does sound that. I will give two thumbs up to that one. I love that motor. That goes up. And I guess that covers it. That's it. And that's it. Oh, oh by the way, here's this other one. 
This is the elevator. That's you, sir. That's Sia's. I'll give you guys technical uh, elevator specification on, on the description. This might actually work. Work downstairs. Yeah. Like usual. Ooh. Well, Sears actually fixed something. It's amazing. Hear that again. This might actually work. Now hear this. What, listen to this. Work downstairs. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Well, Sears actually fixed something. It's amazing. Call Rick. This elevator has vibrations. Sears the fan song. Here, the van's off. Sears finally wisened up and decided to turn it off. It's probably going to be that um that crappy ECI airlock. It's just like the one in Excel. Probably a Schiller car. I mean Sears car. The Sears car has the same thing as Hicksville. I'll do the bell trip upstairs. Mm -hmm. I'll do the bell trip upstairs. Am I closing this one? Nope. Shh. Okay, we're gonna try the bell track. Perfect. Perfect. Look, there's a handrail support in this thing right here. <laughs> and these doors used to be this color. Steers stupidly painted them over. These doors weren't actually originally silver. They were that color that says well, that's best. Lovely. Look at that color. They just scratch it off. You see that? Oh my god. It's scratch. Oh. Well, it used to be what exactly though Fletcher says they used to be that color, but except the paint just scratched off. I used to be terrified of this thing when I was young. I actually used to be terrified of the West team. There was a time when I was supposed to be messing up with insane. Did I ever tell you about the weird thing it did once? It sounded like it shook like hell, but it did nothing. Shh. Doesn't it feel like how the source starts? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm giving you a frost CB, by the way. Yeah, because it's on fish eye. I think this will be our last ride. We don't need to ride this anymore. We have to go downstairs to ride the escalators. And then I can do it like that. Okay. Interlock dates. June of 99. And this thing was installed in 99. No, that's when the interlock was made. And this thing was installed in 99, though. It was? Yeah. I remember, that all used to be stockroom. They knocked it down, they extended the store. The stockroom used to reach across the whole back of the store. I'll think that, too. I don't have to mark it since 99. Okay. I don't have to mark it. Mm -hmm. they painted over the little rubber bumper, too. And they took that all that all that out, but they used to be painted, but now they painted off, I think, it's called color modernization. And that's it. And that is it. Oh, and by the way, make sure that if you guide something, make sure you don't get terrified by the Westie, because basically, I'm not sure these two elevators are going to be live or survive around East Northport, but I'm going to give you guys elevator specs, elevator specs, whatever, if you want to say it. So basically, if you don't get terrified by the Westie, I, I heard... I, I'm I'm pretty sure I heard there was a Westinghouse, the, uh, the old Westies tab. I think it's at Forest Hills, and I think I figured this much. But I don't know why because that elevator, because it has a painted or old one, is it scratched up? No, Fletcher said um, they used to be entirely the the whole coat of blue or thing, but uh, blue I think it will used to be coated, but it got scratched up by graffiti or something. Well, let me tell you what's my review, okay? The review for the Junkie Westinghouse, or the Westie if you want to call it. My review of the Westinghouse, a little bit rusty, but dirty. The interlock is like a little dirty. The T interlock. What is it like an airlock something because the, the lock before? Is it like opening no. the, the up and down before? Probably. Anyway, that is your video review. More on that later for episode 13. Anyway, take us... Oh, by the way, before we end this video, I, I forgot to tell you guys something. Now, get it off your chest. Now, get it off your chest has been due by uh, 2019 of January. So we're not sure when, because basically uh, the January of 2019, we're going to be doing the get it off your chest reaction. So keep that in mind, folks. Mm.
All right, so take us home to see what you said it. So if you're going to subscribe for more contests, it's the Private CJ Productions and the Private CJ Productions 2. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, we'll let you know all about it. Facebook, my name is Jaden Garcia, and Instagram name is JTech727, and Snapchat is good 0727 Thanks for watching, and peace out. But stay tuned for the next episode is episode 13. Just a reminder for January 2019 is the reaction to get it off your chest. Mm-hmm. Just like what I figured. Anyway, with all that said, that is it.